Okay, so the one that's in the globe will dimension door. That's you. Who uses that spell? To there. And can see a room full of uh, enemies. And allies. Yes. Barbarians who don't look like they're doing anything. Uh, fair. What's the purple area? It's Intellect Fortress. Do you have that up yet? I do not. It's immediate action. Oh, okay. Keep in mind that's your swift action for the round as well. Yep. I don't have anything I can do with a swift action. It's all immediate action. That's fair. Okay, so that's where we go. Nine, so it'll be up here for three rounds. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine. Cross-reference that on my untitled spreadsheet. So if we center a fireball here, that should get everybody. Wow, she's even targeting all our barbarian allies. Yeah, well, one of them is blind. Two of them aren't engaging in combat. Um, and, and I guess one guy can just get thrown under the bus. Wow. She doesn't give a fuck. <laughs> she's going to hit four, five enemies with a fireball. They are people. Five enemies with a fireball, and only one of the people in the fireball she considers a realistic ally. A blind orc is really not an ally. He's just fodder. The other two aren't participating for whatever reason. They're just standing there. Um, and the last guy, yeah, casualties of war. So everyone can roll their... Half a second since they received that order. She's not like, those two are useless. That one's blind. You're all dead. She's fireballing her teammates and she doesn't give a fuck. That's the logic of it. No, she is. But she does come into the room and she can clearly see that they're no longer standing there with their axes held ready to attack. They've uh, both lowered their weapons and are meandering across the room sort of thing. I, I think he's, he's arguing less that she would know than that she would turn on them so quickly. <laughs> Um, if she had reason to believe that they were still effective combatants, I might pick something else. But I think the fact that the one guy that's blind, he's like glitter dusted, isn't he? Yeah. So that's obvious to her. Um, and the other two, like I said, these are all raging barbarians and they're just like, huh? So something's uh, affected them. You want to roll your SR for me? Uh, Yep. Boom. Okay. We have fire resistance up, so I'm it's fine. Okay. Uh fire resistance thirty, right? Yeah. For those who still have it, yep. Did you roll the damage already? No, I was just figuring out uh damage. For some reason I kept thinking I was doing a greater uh fireball, which I don't even have. I have greater lightning bolt. Um but I can't do a greater fireball because it has to be uh, a third level spell or lower to do it as a uh, fast spell. Thirty six points. So as long as you make the save, you're fine. What's the save? Uh, the save is twenty five. I take no damage. I take damage, I take, three damage. I take half damage. 16. Sorry, 24. So it looks like everyone but Yinwick made the save, so if you still have your fire resistance up. Didn't someone else get hit with the spell magic? Yeah, I think Elfric. you hit Elvric, but he only got one of his spells. Oh, okay. And he's not even in the room. Yeah, he Plus all the cross spells I had on him. Oh, don't forget about Jasper. He gets blasted too unless he's immune to fire. Oh, yeah. 
question. Question. I failed, but you will also take three damage. How? I heard that. Three or six. Well, so I have resistance thirty, and then half for any. Yeah. Oh. Okay. We'll pull it up. So. Oh, I forgot about that. Which you're technically also in. I think I don't know how that works. Am I in that? Yep. No, he's not. That's how it works. Yeah, it's a bit cut off there. I'm only like a quarter, not even like a quarter. I, said, I had an effect that he was a part of, and he took damage from it because he was in my. It was the wall of force. He took damage from my wall of force, even though it only hit his hit points. Who did that? Aaron. It was when we were in the the rats. The wall of fire, you mean? Yeah. Yeah, the wall of wall fire, fire is a line. There's a difference between being encompassed by a protection aura and being on the edge of a uh, fire. He would at least have to have one of his squares, uh, one of his four squares covered to be considered inside it. That's fair. Okay. Like, Yinwick has more than half of his square covered. That's fair. Yeah, he's, he's 25 feet away. Yeah, I, I, I have no problem with that. I didn't think I'd be in it. Okay, um, and then as her last thing, I think she knows your uh, shield is down, so she's going to go with the um, magic missile as her swift. I've used my immediate action, so I can't take my action anymore. Did I ever tell you I hate fighting sorcerers so fucking much? Dude, I took Dispel Magic the second session. I'm... I'm... Real happy. Why are you real happy? Because I got dispel magic, man. I fucking hate sorcerers, and you know what? Now I got an option. Yeah, that's a good option. She was she hitting magic missile on me? Uh yes, because she knows she took down your shield. That's fair. You should uh you should look into turning into angels. Does she have a mirror image on her right now? Yeah, she has five mirror images. Are you sure they're looking to take him, turn him into angel? An angel? Or archons, or whatever Joe turns into. Is, do they have immunity and magic missile? No, but they are a lot tougher than that thing. Bitch, I've been hopeful. That is rude. Uh, also, also, you know, Joe has a billion permanent spells on him, unlike you. Yeah, well, he gets permanency once per day as his domain spell, so every day he makes a new spell permanent on himself. Considering how often I'm asking to be dispel magic, I don't think permanency is helpful for me. I don't think John started doing it until he realized that druids cast a fuck ton of buffs on themselves. Oh, well, yeah, I mean, like, yeah, I mean, we do. I, I'm, I'm arguing. It's fair, but... I think, I think my freaking sunday druid my wild druid is like the first druid i have played with that doesn't cast a ton of buff spells mm. but i blast pew pew i really need better six level spells I mean, that does make it interesting, because I'm curious what spells we're looking at. If we well, you throw at us, I just steal, I'm going to be honest. I, I have True Seeing as my bloodline power. I have Chain Contingency and... Or Chain Lightning and Contingency as my uh, two base spells. And then I took Repulsion as my bonus spell at 11th level. So I have four spells, and they all basically suck. It's just... in combination with her other spells they are good but she didn't she's the only one who has a six level spell left and none of her six level spells are particularly useful like i'm not going to cast chain lightning on one fucking dude i i just remembered speaking of contingency and i should probably get the fuck out of the way here because my contingency is about to go off and i cast greater lightning or mad fireball on myself that yeah. might not be good to heal every orc in here. Especially that's because true. it can cure blindness. Yeah, that's true. The one, the first time your contingency is about to go off and it fucks. <laughs> I want to keep a barb just to remember them, you know? 
on that note, I should probably roll the Barb's uh, saving throw. I'm just going to roll one for the group. Roll high, Barb's. I'm gunning for it. Excellent. <laughs> not so high. But it's only 36 points of damage. It's not going to kill any of them, is it? No. Are they counted in this fortress? In the what? Oh, yeah, they're really technically are. in the fortress. Uh, I would like to say that as Caleb, Corey, unfortunately, does not see these things as friends. He doesn't even see them as, like, you know. So it's specifically friends. allies? Um, yes, it should be. The Intellect like fortress, fortress is designated, like. Actually, you know what? Let's see. It's a 20 foot radius. You encase yourself and your allies. There you go. So I have to designate them as allies, which, even if I've dominated them, I still don't. Corey wouldn't consider them allies. That's fair, I just wanted to check. I like how you went from rooting for them to like, they're not even yeah. people. Well, Caleb and Corey for people, you know, like. I'm just saying, like, you really went a hard 180 there. Yeah. What can I say? They're not controlled by a They player. killed my wife, guys. I mean, I'm just saying, talk they, about that. These there. barbarians killed my wife. That's the most passion I've heard out of Corey in this campaign. <laughs> yeah, that's that's how I voice act that bit. These guys killed my wife. You know, they had to fire the last voice actor. Wasn't keeping check with their <laughs> sonic car points. I can't even hear what you're saying. Like, what the fuck? Speak up, dude. Yeah, I don't even have anything decent to fire at. What's his face? I know what I'll do. Move up far enough that I can see Fuhr and hit him. I should not have told John anything. Uh, it has nothing to do with metagame stuff. It's, you're the only target. Um, but once she moves up to that point, she can see that a chain missile or a chain lightning in that room would be quite valuable. Yeah. This is kind of the point where you start like changing your decision making uh to fit like the party skill like i in this situation like because my party i'm playing a bunch of i'm playing 5e because i don't expect any players to pick up 3.5 it's that point where i'm like okay so i'll say the sorceress can't really tell what's going on because i'm going to kill them if me the dm is properly playing so because we're all like 3.5 experts that's kind of Yep, yeah, yes, we are all yeah, experts. Mm -hmm. yeah, exactly Masters of our craft. How many power points do I have? I think it's like <laughs> Fortress Works. Are you sure it doesn't hit him? I, uh, it's exactly what I would do. So it, unless yeah. someone, like, full on metagames, then I'm not going to be playing. Yeah. So, well, she does technically know that uh, Fuhrer was in that doorway recently. She's seen the rabbit dude, I think, because he moved up to the door. Um, she could see Jasper through the door. She watched Aaron walk through the door. So moving up to a position where she can target into that room uh, makes sense to me. Yeah. It's just like a lot of like, you know, to make selective targeting that, again, like, it's, it's, she... only, it's not past the suspension I mean, that's of disbelief. Fine, right? it's, Is she hit me like with what any of us, something? Like, yeah, yeah oh, she's going to hit you with chain lightning, and I think it can get everyone in the room after that. Can you roll SR? I can roll SR. Is this going to be the first time this session he hits an SR? Oh my oh, god. No, he Answer, doesn't. Not yet. Not yet. He may just do it one time this session. Not right now. <laughs> does that cancel the spell? No, it just doesn't affect you. How much does it do? Full that? It, it, it does half damage to everyone else. Do you, uh, do you guys want me to or, uh, turn it? Or shall I, I'll just let it go. It's not that much damage. Yeah, everyone else should have lightning. I think I'm the only one that's going to be affected. Yeah, I'm not going to. Okay, reflex save DC twenty four. That'd be half, and then if they make the save, that'd be halved again. I'm gonna have to luck that. Sure. I'm going to turn that. 
Are you so turning? How much luck do you have left? Because I know you spent a whole bunch of events to dispel. I didn't. I let them all go. I'm. Um, That's why John. he has no spells. John, I'm gonna turn that. Why are you turning it? Because I can hit her and all the orcs up top. The barbs. Actually, no. The barbs up top are attacking each other. Never mind. Go nuts. And everyone in your party has lightning resistance and takes half damage on top of getting uh, a save. But the spell is going to do nothing to you guys. Yeah, I forgot that spell uh, enough, did nothing. 17 halves, I think, if you fail. And if you succeed at 17 halves, halves. Yeah, but everyone but Aaron has lightning resistance, so it doesn't... Yeah. Are you a person, Eric? No, Aaron is not a person. He is just a dirty, dirty pharmacist. Dirty I'm pharmacist? That's a new I'm term. A full health. What do I do? You heard me, Aaron. Oh. Don't you have the... Oh, yeah, I guess you weren't here for it either. Yeah, not here. Share pain, I beg you. All right, we'll get hey, Aaron, it. click this link for me, please. I will... Well, if you will, that's good. Doesn't share pain last like hours per level? And then she will swift a magic missile at Fuhr. For 16 points again. Minute. Wait a minute, we're all in perfect position. <laughs> the stars have aligned. You're missing Alvric. If you care. Oh, right, Alvric is the other one. For what? You wanted to do haste. For, for my secret technique. Ah, oh. I'm sure. Okay, so she'll move up to there, and I think the only two she can hit are... Oh, I guess she can hit a Jasper as well. So she's going to target um, uh, Yinwick with her uh, chain missile. So Sorry. Is it have before or after it comes up? Sorry. Probably after, I think, right? Is that a chain missile? Are you about intellect forces? Yeah. We've ruled last session, or when the last time it was used, uh, when we were in the fight with uh, the general, that it is comes, uh, all the damage that you take is half, but if you have like energy resistance, that it comes, basically your energy resistance takes that hit, and then it's halved. Okay, I wasn't sure if that's the same one applied to it. So my shield takes it, uh, it's at minus, we only have 5 HP now. Um, I think it, you, the chain missile just gets sent to somebody else, like you can split it up, but I think I'll just send it all to Aaron. Rude. Aaron, how many magic missiles are you going to be taking this game? I think this is 54. I think I'm at 54. Well, this is the fifth chain missile, so that's 45. Oh, uh, is it? Okay. And then you took a regular magic missile, which is another five. So I think you're at 50. Ah. There needs to be an achievement. For a number of magic missiles you can eat? Yes. 100 magic missiles in one combat. Okay, so she moved, and that would be... She can do that as a standard action, which means she still has her swift action. And since that worked, we'll hit Yinwick with a normal magic missile. I mean, it specifically didn't work, but... Sorry, what? It specifically didn't work, but it was like, there's no point. Oh, I thought you said your shield was down. No, it, it has 5 HP now. Oh, okay, sorry. I misunderstood. Well, she'll keep pedal, pedal, pelleting your shield. That is very true. Didn't 
take half of 11 to the top. Assuming that guy's no character, make it a character. My 55 magic missiles to the face? Uh, you do not get any because that's just a normal. Oh, okay. And I believe all three sorcerers have gone, so we're on to Yinwick. Alright, uh, I will have Jasper attack the Barbarian for two. Is this one dominated? Actually, hold on. Yep, the right, ones with the hand to their head that are like... Ah! Uh, are the ones yeah, yeah, okay, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll attack them. Wait a minute, I can start one of these guys. Is that really the job I need? Okay. You can get rid of them. Yeah, you could pounce, so you could get all rid of all five. Yeah, that's my wonder. Get rid of all five what? Images on the sorceress. You get even five foot first away from the barb so you don't provoke. Yeah, I'll have him five foot here. Okay. I don't think any of those are hits. Against images? Oh, yeah. Yeah, then we get rid of our images. Sorry. So, four images are gone. Okay. Uh, the Soul Barbarian is going to be probably the next one. So is Rundy looking look eye eyeing over that sorceress like like he's gonna beat the hell out of her? Uh I mean that would be his goal unless he shouldn't. Yeah, okay, so I'll do that. I'll move jump five foot ten foot here so I don't provoke. Uh and I will cast uh Tiny Hut. I think you do provoke if you go diagonally across that uh barbarian. What, if I take the five foot step? There's yeah, you can do a diagonal the diagonal corner with that for him. You have to go straight right, then you can go a diagonal. Did you say you're casting Tiny Hut? Okay, so I'll take a move action over there. And yeah, I'll cast Tiny Hut. You could also, oh, you want to get over to where? Uh, I'm positioning myself. Okay. Uh, and then I'll also... Uh, Why are you casting Tiny Hut in the middle of combat? Because it's, it's an opaque field of force. Okay. Even the spells actually can't can't pass through it. Uh, it is not a solid field of force. It is a sphere spell. So I will uh, make this a little side thing. Total concealment, though. That's nice. They, uh, yes, total concealment. They cannot see us inside the sphere. So Except for inside the sphere. Uh, so it is an opaque uh, sphere of force, and uh, we can see outside of it. Anyone within the sphere can see outside of it, but no one outside of the sphere can see in. It is an evocation of force spell. The invisibility does not help. Uh, it doesn't hey. actually impede spells or attacks in any way. It doesn't impede spells? Uh, Unless correct, somebody is looking in, or is looking, yeah, in from the outside, because then they can't tell you. Correct. So they can fireball or, or lightning bolt or whatever it is they want, but they can't add pierce or hit. Unless that they're inside the sphere. That is interesting. And 
Does anything prevent them from going into this room? Nope, they can walk in if they want, but then they have to keep Jane nice and close. There's two other sorceresses besides this one here, and I'm assuming she does not want this girl that you're going for. Uh, that's my turn. Anybody can just walk into it? Yeah. Yep. How does it provide any protection, then? It, prote it protects from, like, environmental effects. And it, it is okay. And targeted effects. Like, if someone's not walking directly. Yeah, so if orcs attack you at night, they can just walk into your tiny hut. If they, yeah. Trap. But they can't see it. They, can they just... don't know it's in the tiny hut. Sure, but it's an opaque sphere of any color. That but... 20 foot high or 10 foot high opaque sphere in the middle of nowhere would be something I'd go check out. If it dominates... Yeah, it's, it's pretty obvious. It's, it's, for, it's for surviving this... harsh elements. It's not for hiding. This is actually blowing my mind. Haven't we been using the spell for like hiding in the beginning? beginning? Yeah, I thought. Yeah. I think the second edition version of it was different. It was literally like a, a hut that you could only you could go in. Were we using it for hiding? I thought didn't think we were. Dad and rope trick. Uh, I think Corey was using the spell, wasn't he? Yeah, rope trick I... is the one you use to hide. Yeah, yeah I use. Like... Uh, it's psychoport of shelter, but it's just rope trick. No, we've been using rope trick, not the tiny hut. Uh, the temperature inside the hut is seventy degrees Fahrenheit. Exterior temperature is made out of zero and hundred degrees. Oh, if the interior temperature is made out of zero and hundred degrees Fahrenheit. Also, I'm American. I know what those elements. numbers the mean. Green dust and sandstone. You get all that dust out of your hut. Uh, <laughs> okay. You, then we're on to Elric. Yes. He will five foot, five foot. Can't charge. He'll just he'll move from here. He'll just move. Using his divine shield to buff his AC up to thirty. So he's going to provoke from all four of them? Yes. Hopefully an AC of 34 is enough. Yeah, apparently. And then he will just take, uh, take a swing. Actually, he'll use charm person on her. No, that's a, a dumb move. He'll just, he'll just cast resist energy fire and then that's it. He's going to stand in a threatened square and cast resist energy? As a swift spell? Oh, as a swift spell. Never mind. Okay, then we're on to the barbs. Uh, this one will five foot over. And wail on Yinwick. Yes, I, uh... I wanted to do this cool thing, but I, I suddenly realized that my choices <laughs> may have uh, been less than, uh, wasn't paying a whole lot of attention to that uh, uh, turn order thing there. So well, get a six pass? No, just the last two. The first four were on um, Elvert. Okay, well, I'm going to luck down that crit because I do not like that. You don't like crits? I do not like crits. I do not like them, Sam. I am. Okay, well, then he hits you twice. Fucking you up completely. Little bits of rabbit all over the wall. Ow. Yeah, that was the part that I couldn't understand, is if it doesn't protect you from the orcs, <laughs> why are you doing it? Listen, Arundi got to do his teleport trace thing. No, that, that's, I, I respect that. I, I do respect that. Sometimes it's a matter of principle, and I get it. Damn it, now I gotta take two turns. You know how costly that shit is? Okay, so... The other barbarian will five foot over to Fuhrer. As that seems like the only plausible target. He's blind, isn't he? Yeah, he's blind. That's why I didn't... I was actually going to have him go after Corey, but I was like 10 feet away. That uh, doesn't seem reasonable for blindness to navigate. That's fair. But he can hear Fuhrer just right there beside him casting spells. Fair enough. Hopefully there is a mischance. 
Yep, there's a 50% mischance. Makes both of them. Okay, well, I will uh, start by doing two electric vengeances, wasting all my last fifth level spell. And then immediate actions? You get oh, yeah. three. Yeah, one, one, because I haven't. It's it's a new immediate or new swift, right? Strand. Oh wait, oh, wait I haven't. Is it resets when I go the, the swift, swift action? action? Well, when was the last time you used an immediate action? Last uh, last round. If you used an immediate action last round, that would count as your swift action this round, which would mean you don't have one. Then I take both hits, and I'm about to blow up. Um, you can use your uh, standard and your uh, move as immediate actions if you want. No, that's fine. I'm just going to blow up here. Okay. I'm okay with this. Yeah, since you're laying on the ground horribly wounded. Isn't it a 20-foot radius? My motivations are my own. Oh, okay. Is this a good blow up or is this a bad blow up? This is his contingency going off. Okay. I, I assume it's a healing fireball. I hope. Otherwise, uh. Well, actually, I guess. No, I'm, I'm just gonna good. fucking Ali Akbar this. I mean, okay. if, if you had your resurrection, so, you, uh, that would be a better make plan. Any saves, by the way. Because they, uh. wanted to go into the corner. Sorry, what was that? These uh, barbs I had dominated need to make the save. Because you said oh, yeah. Go um, I will roll a will save for them. So that's four. Well, the 29 works. That is 31 points of healing to anyone within 20 feet of me. Uh, yeah, that guy, uh, he got the save five. So that's fine. Which one do you want affected? Um, hard to say which we'll corner. Say, uh, I'll keep this guy right here. Just for me. Am I prone? You probably would be. Actually, I'll take the one on the right because the D four says this one. So he's still under your command. Yes, I'll remove the little logo from this guy. Can I get a will save from the barbarians to try to dodge my healing? Yeah, I was just taking the Barbarian's action before then, because uh, he would act in that same uh, window, so he would move out of the area of effect before your Fireball goes off. So, will save. The Barbarians do not get a will save, because they would have no idea that this is healing. Okay, so they just do reflex? Yeah. Fortunately, oh wow, they almost made it. Okay, so they all get healed by 62 points? 31. Oh, 31, okay. Uh, I luck their save up. You luck their save up? <laughs> yeah, this heals, uh, it would be a total of 45 healing I prevented. What a weird nuance of luck this has been. Yeah, I'm going to lock it up so they save, so they only get 15 each, so that saves us 45 points of healing. How does it save you any healing whatsoever? Because they would dodge, because if they didn't fail it, they would get 31 points, and if they did make it, they'd only heal 15. Yeah, but that doesn't save you any healing. It just gives no, them more that. hit points. It saves us from having to kill that many hit points. Fair enough. And Elvrick will use his luck to do it. Oh, to, do, to do what? To bring it up to 25 if they're safe. Oh, okay. And then the other one will attack you since he made his save. He can't see through it, but he missed anyways. Well, he can five foot up and then see through it. Does he know how it works? Uh, probably not, but he sees a big seer appear and tries to go inside it. Fair enough. I mean, that's fair. That's what I do in every single door. He sees his enemy on the edge, and his enemy disappears. He tries to get closer to the enemy. 
if he five foots inside and then there's nobody to attack, that would be a different story. But if he's right there, he would just attack him. And 21's not a hit on you? 22. Nice. Okay, well, he uses his luck to uh, hit. Sorry, 24. I just checked, rechecked it. It's 24. Oh, okay. Well, then that won't change anything. Okay, um, I'm not going to bother with the orcs in the other room. They're going to kill each other, and one of them will survive at the end. But um, I'm not going to the sorcerer. Yeah. The only one. But I don't think it's going to matter in two rounds that it's going to take them to kill each other. Man, I'm stuck for my action this turn. I have absolutely nothing to do after taking that much damage. Ah, uh, yeah, you're um, fucked. Don't you have a boots to no, reposition? I mean, nope. You're fine. Don't worry, you're fine. It sucks for me because I gotta spend the points to make you fine, but you know that's just. But I mean, I can't do it. The thing is, I can't do anything. It's his turn, and he can't even take an action because he's pinned in the corner by two barbarians and can't cast spells. That stinks of death. Uh, delay your turn. I'll change his I took damage. Yeah, the man took like fifty points. Actually, forgetting that again. A bunny forgetting rules? Shocker. Yeah, don't forget you're also prone. Yeah, I am prone. Uh, no, I meant Jesse. Don't even know what I'm going to do here. Why would he be prone if the contingency went up? I, I wouldn't be prone. Clear. Because uh, our contingency would proc at 10, 10 HP. Oh, okay. Uh, I think I just emulate here. Yeah, I'm just going to use my emulate. So these guys take D2, D6 damage per round. They're next to me, and I'll use my wings as well. Your wings for what? Maybe, maybe the... Um, just so I can fly, if I can, get out of here. Yeah, yeah there's... Longer. No, because the roof's only 10 feet tall. Oh, okay. Well, I'll just use my MLA. That's and fine. Intimidation factor. No, so I, I just wanted to make sure that it didn't do, didn't have an effect that I needed to take into consideration. Nope. You only do D6 with it? Yeah. Okay, then we're on Did to say... Corey. I'm sorry, did you say D6 for intimidation factor? No, D6 for immolation. Yeah, no, it, I thought you said you were using the wings for intimidation. I'm, I'm dig, I am. I don't know. Oh, I lose my like, train of thought. Right, big, big, big fucking phoenix wings for out of the old man. I don't know. Spending my move action to uh, catch this barb over here since I'm like, wait a minute. No, 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 no. <laughs> Let's see what Fitz has done there. Uh, come back and kill your friend. So, move action has changed the order. Fitz is now kill your friend. Sweet. Without him making other will saves, because I already made will saves. Um, standard action, uh, time hop on square, barb CR7, and the other barb CR7 that's right next to him. Okay. I'm going to tell you, Quare, you should willingly. Actually, there's no, yeah, it's up to you if you want to say. But... You do not want a time hop. You won't be in initiative until you make a will save or a wisdom check. But it takes your whole turn to come back, and you are vulnerable for that whole turn once you come back. So it's kind of. A, a no, I don't have a good will. You know what? Let me let me check. And, this. Let me and I don't have a good will s or wisdom you save. Three PR or these barbs right here. Let's see what they are. My wisdom is t awful. Don't do that. Well, the bigger issue is that you disappear and don't get any actions until you come back, and you'll come back when the barbs come back, or around about the same time. You're just going to do the three barbs? The 15 was come back and kill your friends. Oh, he doesn't make another because he already. Um, because w you get one secondary will save to act against your, uh, your nature, and if you don't make that will save, you never get another will save to do it again, regardless of how much more dramatic the order is. 
Okay, you don't get a save each time you do it? Nope, just the once. For that, you are effectively subjugated. Oh, okay, that's fine. I You said to do it, so uh, I rolled another will save. Oh, maybe that was... No, when you when you forced him down there, I rolled the secondary will save. Yeah, no, no, no. I rolled that a while ago. I think that was the thirteen. Yeah, the thirteen is. No, well, I did. I just thought he got. You said I'm changing the order. Roll another will save. So I did. But if you only. Yeah, he fails either way. He failed on the 13 and he failed on the 15. Yeah, the DC was 20, so two of them fail. Two, three. Is which one? Because from player point of view, I picked the ones that are going to square to go, but. No, I'll roll percentile. I don't care which ones you do. 30, 60, 90. Barb CR7, or is the one on the top right still? Top right stays, wait, those are artist commissions for the time being. Um, I'm not going to burn my money through that. Let's, that'll be my turn. So the barbarian at the top right who's standing over Yinwick is the one that uh, is still around. Standing over prone Yinwick, who's badly I, wounded. I don't like this. I love it. I think it's awesome. Okay, I think we're back to initiative then. We could still have Rabbit tonight. Nice. Hey! Rolling like my life depends on it. That's a 30. Because it does. Now that my initiative matters and I won't be dead last anyway. 